Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to show you how to add new objects in the world, move them around a bit, and show you a new way that you can view the world. Uh, so far we have a cube sitting there in the world. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some extra items in the world. So let's go for that. You'll see here down at the bottom there's an add menu item. We go add and the ones we're going to be focusing on for this one is we're going to say add mesh and we're going to stick to these simple ones here. So very basic shapes. Well we know we already have a cube. Let's add a cylinder in. So it adds a cylinder. Now when it adds it in it will always add it in you know close to the center of the world or where that sort of dot is depending on your settings and let's say I want to move it now so I can hit G and Y and let's just move it over here. Keep in mind I still have the magnet on. I'm actually going to turn that off. That was from the last video. Okay, I don't want it to snap to the grid. Um, just another thing I didn't show you in the previous videos was you can click on these arrowheads, click, and you can pull the object around by the arrowheads. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to stack the objects up so they're on top of each other and uh, we'll sort of show you something. Let's add another object here. Let's get a cone in there. Add mesh cone. There it is. I'm going to move it by this. Click, drag. You'll see when you're going through an object the way it looks. Okay, it shows you they're basically on top of each other. And so I'm just going to do that. Okay, remember I could have used the G key with X, Y, Z. Now what we want to take a look at is a different way to view the world, which will show you something a bit better than this, because you can see here, this looked like it was sort of stacked, sort of, but when you move the world around, you're like, oh no, I was way off. Now, you don't want to have to turn the world like this on your own every time, right click, you know, and move the things down, you know, to try to get them into place, and then you're like, okay, that's not bad. But then I rotate the world, I'm like, oh no, I was totally way off there. You don't want to have to rotate. All 3D programs have a different view, and this view is going to look a little bit more busy, but it's really useful. We go down here, and we go to View, and you go up here to Quad View. Now, Quad View also has Control Alt Q as the shortcut key, and this is actually something very popular you're going to do a lot. So you may want to remember that one but toggle the quad view and you'll see what it gets you. It gets you four different views. Here's your 3D view and the 3D view, 3D view still works just like before. It's just a little smaller now. Okay, so you can still shift and slide and zoom in and out on your objects. But the real important windows are these ones here, the top view. Now, all these three windows, like the top view, the mouse wheel still does the same thing. So zooms in and out, and shift, press the mouse wheel down, still translates. So you should get used to doing this so you can do it at a relatively decent speed, right? So that when you walk around these windows, you can hold the shift key down, the mouse wheel down, move it, zoom in. You know, you can set this up. So as you're looking at this, that's not so hard to do. And it's not something that's going to come in one minute. Okay, it may take 10, 15 minutes of just playing with the program. But you will get it, and then you won't even have to think about it when you're doing it. You'll just be doing it. The great thing about these views is the top view, basically, you can right-click the cone, and you can move it right on top of the cube. Right-click the cylinder, click and drag. And you can do this in all the views. So when you do this in all the views, this is a much easier way to guarantee things are in line and where you want, especially if you want to zoom in. Now when I go to this 3D view here, I can see here I can basically spin it around from any angle and this looks good. It looks like it's basically properly stacked. Okay, there's no uh, weird 3D deceiving you. Okay, so the quad view, very important windows to work with. If you ever want to go back, just view, toggle quad view. Okay, and it puts you back to your normal view. Not bad, right? So now you can add objects, you can move them around, and if you want it, hit the R key, Y, and look at that, I got a thing balancing. Do I actually know if it's perfectly straight up and down? Guess what? Drive the quad view, 
and no, I wasn't quite there. So right click to select, R to rotate, Y, rotate it on the Y axis, and right there. I'm close. Let's get this precise. I may have to give up and just emit the feed here. I don't exactly know what my program is doing that it's not behaving so nicely. And you know what? We're going to call that perfect right there. I could have also just used the angle. Probably would have been a lot easier, right? To flip it. Okay. Or the magnet and moved it in nice little chunks. Anyways, that's the quad view and that's adding extra objects in and moving them around. Now we're going to have a little challenge for you. Uh, to make a scene now that you know how to get some basic primitive objects like the cones and the cylinders and stuff and we're going to give you a model to try to make that's a uh, very Christmas themed uh, hopefully you're watching this video just before Christmas is coming it'll make sense if not it's going to be a summer snowman thanks for watching